SUNY is the biggest school system in all of New York. They wanted me at their college in Plattsburgh last April. That is until 10 radical left students all going through transgender surgeries and they're afraid of their sexuality and they're not sure of their bisexuality and their asexuality. These 10 students formed a little mob and complained to a fever pitch how unsafe they might feel if I came to their campus and entertained a crowd of 100 to 200 students that wanted to laugh. Now, those 10 students got the show canceled because they didn't feel safe that a famous half-Persian comedian with an immigrant father who spoke English as a second language from a Muslim background was gonna send his son to perform for 45 minutes in Plattsburgh, New York. This whole feeling of, I don't feel safe, this is a lie, and this is what the left does to try to garner support. That way a minority can bully the majority. Now, SUNY Plattsburgh fired me for no reason other than 10 radical left gender-confused students didn't feel safe that I would come tell jokes there. They didn't know which jokes I was gonna tell. They didn't ask. They just went through a few tweets and saw I made fun of Katanji Jackson, the diversity hire Supreme Court Justice. When asked, what's a woman? She said, I don't know. I'm not a biologist. Do you remember that? So I made a tweet that was very funny. I said, Katanji Jackson wets her pants in the lobby of the Supreme Court because she didn't know which bathroom to use. There was no biologist present. Very funny joke, right? Oh, that joke made them feel unsafe. Okay. SUNY has now allowed comedy. But after all the fake fears and crying about a comedy show, SUNY Plattsburgh has a comedy show and they bring up my name quite a few times. Alumnus returns with stand-up. Now I'm not gonna criticize this guy at all because he has nothing to do with my not getting to perform there. That's the radical left, has nothing to do with him. But I can tell you he is not a world famous half Persian comedian. And there's not a lot of diversity compared to a Muslim immigrant and Iranian father. Alexandra Sitorova writes, Comedian Jimmy McCartney, a Plattsburgh native and Sunni Plattsburgh alumnus, performed at the Warren Ballroom. The audience was small, but receptive. You see, that's how the radical left does it. Maybe those 10 students came and fake laughed. <laughs> it's so funny. So it's not a wide success. Just like the movie Bros, a new gay romantic comedy. They're so excited for it, but nobody else really wants to see it. A baseball cap sitting backwards atop his long curly brown hair and a print shirt framed with a blue checkered jacket paired with khaki pants and sneakers. Fake news. Do those look like khaki pants and sneakers? Those are his legs. So because he got a little bit of a tan, they call it khaki pants now. My cheeks actually hurt from laughing, Lacey said. Now, I have no problem with that. I want comedians to do well at colleges. Oh my God, he was hilarious, another said. I feel like his personality and the show itself mingled very well, Rodriguez said. It didn't seem like he was giving a show. It really seemed like he was just being himself. Okay, when I do a comedy show, I don't want people to say, oh, he's just being himself. I want people to be like, he brought a great show. He had lots of voices, characters, act outs. He brought it, not, now he's up there just being himself. But I have no problem with McCartney. I'm glad he performed. I hope he had a great time. Uh, McCartney said he focused on making sure whoever attends his shows is having fun. Well, we all do that. When asked whether it was a good idea to have a comedy show, I thought it was a great idea, Rodriguez said. When the student activities invited the comedian Kayvon to perform on campus in April, students wrote them so many critical emails that the show had to be canceled. Students alleged that his jokes were racist and transphobic. Ooh. The back and forth conflict between the students and the comedian resulted in Kayvon releasing the names and one address of the students who he said bullied him. Not true, time out, er. I did not release the names of the students and the address of the students. The students kept saying that I was transphobic and hateful and then they kept sending me death threats. One student said, why don't you come to this address and I'm going to beat you up. So I took a screenshot and I shared that and said, does this look like I'm the one bullying or they are the bully? And that's when the kid said, what are you doing, man? That was my home address. <laughs> I didn't know it was his home address. He told me to show up at an address in Plattsburgh, New York and he was going to beat me up. So I took a screenshot and said, he's being the bully, and he got mad. That's my house, man! Have some respect! I carry on. 
Rodriguez said the very small crowd at this comedy night was to be expected. I feel like not many students like comedy shows, but also they don't give it a chance either. Yeah, no kidding, you train them to be little victims. But the controversy surrounding Kayvon could also have affected the turnout for McCartney's show. A lot of people didn't think that the comedy show would work because they didn't know what kind of comedian we had. They were like, well, last time you brought someone who is super controversial to this campus, time out. No, they didn't bring me to the campus. They tried to bring me to the campus and you guys caused a controversy so I couldn't go. So why should we trust in you again to bring someone that isn't like that? Rodriguez says she hopes the students, Rodriguez says she hopes to show the students that not every comedian is controversial and by organizing more opportunities for comedians, both among students and outside to perform on campus, in her view, comedy shows are an important opportunity to connect students and alumni who don't see eye to eye. Honestly, if you wanna connect people that don't see eye to eye, you should have just continued with my show and the people that didn't like it could have either come and laughed quietly in the back or stayed home, it wasn't compulsory to graduate. I think that as a college student, you don't realize that you can listen to inappropriate jokes, Rodriguez said, referring to the McCartney jokes containing explicit language and sexual themes. Okay, ban me, but he can do jokes with sexual themes, cool. You kind of get shy like, oh my God, we can say that word? We can hear that word out loud? Another thing you should know is SUNY is a government funded college system. On their website, it says, we have to have all forms of speech on our campus in compliance with the First Amendment. That means some speakers may say things we don't want to hear, we don't even approve of, even hate speech. And unfortunately, we are bound to have this kind of speaking on our campus because it's federal law. So when SUNY said you can't perform because these 10 students are mad about a joke that I told them I wasn't even going to do on that stage, SUNY violated my First Amendment rights and they violated their ability to get government contracts and government funding because they're not holding the principles that they need to abide by in order to get those funds. But the left never plays by equal rules or equal footing. The left is about cancel culture, crying, whining, and transitioning. So that is what's going on on college campuses. This is what they are spending $40,000 a year on and then they need you to help bail them out because these are 18, 19, 20, and 21 year old adults. 21 in World War I too, you've been at the war for three years. 21 at SUNY Plattsburgh, you've been trying to save up for your gender transition for three years. When we come back, we have a whole lot more. What do you think about the SUNY Plattsburgh canceling my show and bringing an open micer? Put it in the comments.